Adams and Mitchell had a great game this week. How do they carry momentum into this coming game? Well, it's a different plan. You know, I mean, it's a different uh, scheme. And, uh, you know, I think we're, we're, we like the progress. You know, it only matters what they're going to do this week. So we'll see, we'll see how things go. And I think that they're prepared. Where did things stand with, uh, with Ryan at the end of the weekend? And questionable. We're going to be listed as questionable as it, as it goes. We're going to try to, um, you know, give as much time as we possibly can. And, you know, feel like you know, we're prepared with, with whatever may happen. Um, so hopefully, you know, again, we'll see how it goes. We still have some time before game. Does it help, I assume, the fact that he's a veteran quarterback doesn't necessarily need a ton of reps? Yeah, I mean, I think that he's, you know, executed a lot of these plays. And I say with 90% of them, um, he's had a, a lot of experience running and uh, in operating. How do you like uh, Malik handled his work in practice this week? Yeah, I mean, I thought he took advantage of his opportunities, you know, and you know, trying to trying to lead and, and, and function as, a, as our quarterback. When they lose a player like Grugier Hill, um, it's not necessarily about the personnel as much as it is the scheme for you guys as far as scouting, right? Yeah, I mean, they were, you know, I mean, he only played, you know, 12 snaps in the previous game, so it looked like, you know, they were moving on to, to Harris, and uh, that's, you know, again, there'll be a linebacker in there in, a, in the A or the B gap, and uh, we'll have to be prepared to block him. How's Malik improved kind of as the season has gone along, running the, the scout team and now, you know, with the first team? Well, I mean, I think the scout team stuff is a great way for everybody to develop, and I think that he's done that. He's, uh, you know, a lot of other guys have done that, and, and we try to explain that to those guys each and every week when they come in, you know, prepare as a starter and um, take advantage of your opportunities, whether it comes on, on the offensive or defensive side of the ball or the show team. And, um, you know, a lot of guys have gotten recognized and improved uh, by being able to do that. How did Connolly's week go? How did his learning curve go for him? Oh, good. You know what I mean? He came in, he's professional. Um, really have enjoyed being around him. And, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll be able to see him in action. You can get Zach against back on the practice field this week, and how much can he maybe help you know, if he's able to go Sunday? I mean, we, we would, you know, it was good. It was good to have Zach back. You know, we'll see see how it goes on Sunday and um, how much will it help. I mean, as much as having a starting linebacker in, in your defense that has been out for a couple weeks could, could help. Are there any players that you ruled out for something? Torrey Carter's out and Weaver is out, Rashad Weaver. And then we'll continue to monitor uh, some of the other guys on the, on the injury report. Jeff, questionable. That's what it will be here in a few minutes.